Everyone just watch me fish and just hunt. Okay, that's all I need. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just don't ask how it's on there. Just peep the game, people. Yeah, I should have started filming earlier. Wait, wait. Shh, shh. Quiet, quiet. Just peep the game, people. Peep the game. Hopefully a gator doesn't come out and bite me. At that point he should be moving. Track him. He's moving away. Now I can go pick up my game. One should watch out whenever they're in this part of this map. Gators. They can be your enemy. Now, the only thing when I'm gonna be hunting is things that'll make me some good money, like big old Jackie here. Yeah, his cousin is a swordfish. Remember, like I said, no rushing. Just peep the game. See a three star? No, one star. Um, I'm gonna be chasing my ways of hunting. I'm only gonna be hunting things that have good or perfect pelts. Now, the pelts in this game, oh. Oh, wait. After you work at Rockstar Games, let me just freaking reduce the cost of, um, reduce the payment of, uh, how much you can be selling this and that for. Yeah, that's why I kinda hate Rockstar Games now. The double standards on glitches and stuff. Yeah, that's why I hate them. <laughs> whoa, 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 C careful there. Now, uh, herons, I don't think they come out at night because they're all sleeping. So what I'm going to be doing is hunting gators, and maybe catching some fish to increase my health bar, and just to make some money uh, along the way. One thing that does come out at night are boars. Get my light, so I can see. Now over down over there... Keep the game, like I said. Don't rush. Now I gotta be careful not to alert our neighbors over there. Dang it, um... Crap. I do need to kill that pig. And those, um... Turtles over there. I will be taking this weapon and this. No, wait. I'm trying to... Actually... Since those small animals come out at this time, we're gonna be using a bow to um kill the tortoises. Dang it, missed. And then we're gonna be using this whole rifle here to kill Mr. Gator. And now hopefully our horse friend does not jump down and, and hurt himself. He did that the last time. Alright. Like I said, peep the game. Don't rush. You want to take your time whenever you're hunting animals like these. And the best way to kill them is with a headshot with a bow and arrow. And that environment rifle, from my experience, well, from my experiences, don't use a environment rifle. Use a bow and arrow headshot. The gators trying to get their pelts. 
Don't even get the pelts. Get yourself a really large fish. And I'm going to show you guys how to catch a large fish. Big one. That's whenever I saw this one here. And yeah. Actually, can I... Did I already reset my hunting progress? Don't think I did. Um, I think I did. No. Um, go to wards, hunting. No. Sharpshooter. I believe I'd already get reset it. Um. Yeah, as soon as you get this and that, um, drop it. And yeah. Hey. <laughs> Please don't fall down. Thank you. Yeah, he has a hard time. I just hope he doesn't lose that freaking large fish. Because last time he freaking jumped down. All the way up there. Where is he? Yeah, I better hope a gator doesn't spook the big guy. This horse knows that he can go across the water, and, and, and in this game, people, horses can swim. Yeah, in Red Dead Redemption 1, they couldn't. Neither could you swim, because they didn't have a mechanic. Because they needed the codes to swim. Also, stay tuned. Um, I will be doing some Detroit Become Human. I've been waiting a while to do that game, and it's been out ever since earlier this year. I think it came out last summer. I don't know. Wait, not last summer, but in 2018 it came out. Oh my god. Thank you. Now that you're here. Um... Yeah, uh, so for boars, for me, I would just kill them for the meat. Um, if you guys really want to get the pelt, aim for the head. That way you won't freaking kill the, kill the, wait, shh, shh. That's the ribbon, I, I need hero, wait, heroines, heroin. I thought that was a freaking gator for a second there. We yeah, have fear of gators. Actually, while I'm gone, let me download um, Destroy Become Human, then I might release a gameplay today, along with the rest of those Mafia 3 clips. There we are, Baby Gator. Like, I ain't sure how much their pelts sell for. I think it's the same thing as a large gator. Yeah, the media loves talking crap about a game. But don't even play it. That's freaking funny. Laugh at the people that who freaking talk all the crap about the game. And then, heck, they probably play it, but they just don't want to freaking see they play it. Like, 
don't talk crap about a game if you haven't played it. Like, just play it for yourself, you know, maybe you wouldn't understand. Freaking, they're talking about how, how violent Modern Warfare 3 is. That's, well, well not Modern Warfare 3, but the new Modern Warfare Remastered. That's, look, it's about war. Of course, war is going to have a lot of dirty, nasty villains in it. Because that's the, that's the thing about war. You know, you have all these sick, crazy, freaking killers and all. You freaking talk crap about the game, but you won't even play it. That's because the game is about war, idiots. Yeah, well, yeah, well you guys think I hate the media so freaking much? Especially mainstream. Freaking accuse one guy, make him look like the bad man. Seriously. Play the game before you start talking crap about it. Please. Idiots. Um... Perfect. Heck, I shot this. I barely even shot this thing from the head, and all of a sudden, it's freaking perfect. Oh, yeah. Now, she people how to catch a large fish. Now, whenever they're struggling, don't pull it. That same mistakes I was making. Now, as soon as he latches onto it, when I'm not explaining, or I could explain whenever I'm waiting. You guys know me. Now, one thing I want to do is, is freaking flicker it. No. As soon as that puppy latches onto it, there. Now, whenever he's struggling, pull him back, or just pull him back towards your direction. Now, whenever he stops struggling, it's when you want to freaking, freaking do like this, just to yank him in more faster. Same things for these fishes. We can wait, and then do it like this. It's the same way of how you catch large fish. You just want to yank him back in towards your way. Because reeling him in will do just a little bit. But just yank him, you know? Catch some more fish. Mr. Fishy Fishy There he goes, I think I see one of them coming now Come on, latch on Come on, no, no, no Oh, come on, eat it It's good for you He's not a big one Same thing for all these types of fish. Do not reel him in while he's well while he's struggling to freaking get it off. Have patience, young ones. Hey, you want something to eat, buddy? Listen, I know you eat grass or anything, but hey, hey, look at me. A good horse. Soon enough. You'll be going back to the stalls, so and I'll be taking out your new little brother or little sister. Let's ride. Oh, yes, I'm up there. Now, for hunting, hunt the best. So that you want to do. Don't end up like me. Now, for me, I would kill the animals for their pelts. If they're good or perfect, that's when I would take the kill. Now, for herons, there's something I want to talk to you guys about. These guys, I will say this. These herons. They're frigging um, feathers. Oh my god, that is so much frigging money. That is one thing I would actually do is take their corpses. Take it either 
I actually take it whenever it's perfect because they're worth about two to three dollars. And also these songbirds or whatever, frigging tricolored ones are worth a lot of money. I recommend you guys try to catch. Now, well, let me just explain this. Now the plumes, they're feathers, worth a lot of money. Cause I had about nine out of ten, and that gave me about ten dollars and thirty-five so cents. And just take their bodies while they're perfect. That's something you want to do because they're worth a lot of money. And I think right now in the game it's about 4 a.m. Yeah, it's around about 4 a.m. This is the time when I think they come out because at night they don't come out because they're sleeping. So, um... Like I said, peep the game, don't rush it, you know, you'll get that frigging big kill of meat. Your money starts rolling in. Like I said, don't get the poor stuff. Get the ones that's perfect. It's what you want to aim for. Whoa! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. This is why I freaking hate hunting down here. Look at him! He's hungry! Look at him! I'm buying the you maggot! That's how angry he is at me because, listen, I do not mean to kill your children. Listen, I gotta eat. I need bullets. I need. I need everything. Just. Wait, wait who's that? This commentary is kind of on point, I might add. I also need to make myself a snow outfit because um, I will be going up north. Show you guys how to hunt. Yeah, this is gonna be my new series, How to Hunt with Ghost or Kobe. Either one's fine, guys. You guys can call me by this or that. It doesn't matter. So basically, this is gonna be my new series. Um, and at the end of the video, I'll show you guys how much all of this is worth. So last time I was hunting, I got about 55 or $60 from just hunting all of this, including a large fish. And, then, and let me get out of this area, area before I get peeled. Oh, and I forgot about this one over here. But like I said, um, um, heroines are worth a lot of money. You know, now the tricolored ones. Every heroine has their own subspecies. Well, now hunting. We'll just take the, just take the whole thing. All right, if it's good, you know, take back what I said. Tricolored plumes, I think they have their own, um, feather class, whatever. Wait, are those plumes? It, they're ducks, I can't take them. Actually, I never hunted none of these before. Th there's nothing there! This guy's needs rose, rosemary, was it? Freaking, I don't know, this is just hunting with me. Now, these guys, um, this is my first time ever killing one of these, so, um, yeah, looks all Richie Ross and things, um, flight feathers I'm full on, probably gamey meat, And then we're about to go on over to the spot where we sell our pelts at. And I'll reap the rewards of how much everything should cost. 
Because if a good body of a... What's it called? Heck, I don't freaking know. This, this is Red Dead. Um... Also... I... You okay? Hey! Buddy! It's fine! Come on! Let's go home! Now... Every time after I get done with a big day of hunting... What I usually do is go out to that farm... That is right near the town of Rhodes. It is this farm area right here. You can kill yourself some cows, some bulls, but do not take their um, pelts, like the big one. Do not take it because it is, it ain't worth no money, people. You guys want to aim big. Like I said, hunt yourself a large fish. Whenever that thing is over there freaking going so fast in the water, do not reel it in. You want to yank him in, right? Pull down with the left stick, or actually, pull up with the left stick, that is, bring it down towards your body. And you just want to freaking make sure that sucker knows who's, con who's in control. You are, you're trying to hunt him for dinner. What I would basically do in this area is I would kill all of the cows, take the meat, drop the pelt, don't take it, get yourself a large fish, and whenever I'm done, I usually just take them all on down to roads and sell them to the butcher. And I'm gonna do the math of how much everything costs. In our next episode, we will talk about um how to hunt up north. And Ambrino, it's with the Elkar. I recommend you guys bring yourself a Carcino rifle or... Wait, not a Carcino, but the Rolling Block rifle, which is this one here. The one that carries one shot. It has a scope. Hey, buddy. You hater. So right now, let's head on over to the Butcher. Yeah, if I had a PC, I would actually um, do all my editing and put all, all the other good crap in there. Something I would do. Hello, you look hungry. No, no, I'm not hungry. I just got done hunting, but thanks for the offer. Well, no. So, flight feathers. No. As you guys can see, you see how much the corpses are worth. Okay, this is about three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, uh, 18, 19, 21, 22, 29, 31, 30, that's about 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, uh, I think it's about four, uh, 44, 45, 46, uh, 47, 48, $49, including pocket change, uh, this is worth about $50 in all. Just count up the change, you know, it's going to make your job a lot easier. Done. Deal. Done. Deal. Yeah, done deal. Done. So like I said... Look at how much money that their feathers are. The plumes. Look at how much. Just four of these. If, if, if these were about freaking ten. My. This would be about. Twelve. Maybe eleven dollars. That is a lot of money. Just for Look, some feathers. Now guys. I recommend you hunt. In okay. this area of the map. How you can make the most money. Done. Number one, get her pelts. Oh. Also, the big Lucky game meat. Now, bears. Done. Heck, I don't know when the heck from freaking grizzly okay. bears come out. But, that's how you hunt in a series. I need to go get myself a new outfit for my snowy. So, I'll be going out there to show you guys how to hunt. Yeah, we out. Um. Also, 
This weapon, this beauty. Look at this thing. Does its job, has a frigging shotgun at the bottom. Just aim it, you know. No, oh, I can't shoot it. Ah, uh, yeah. Just like the series. We do that like button. You ain't gonna use it. Uh, too many ladies in this shop. Ladies, the listen. Shelves. There are female the hunters out here. Are. Can I point? Take no. Okay. And I'll pull out anything you'd like to see. All right. Can you at least just wash your hands? Listen, I understand if it's so freaking hot in here, but come on, you have like a bucket of water. Hi. Listen, how are you doing? Yeah. Stay tuned, people.